this message I'm gonna tell you practical steps that you can take to achieve rejuvenation and to bring and keep yourself and your body on its natural divine pattern and form of health and youth. To fully understand this concept, listen to my other message about this same topic. As I told you on my first message, I'm not talking about a simple beauty routine. I'm talking about getting your spirit into a higher place. And treating your body and yourself as a divine creation. Old age and death are not part of your divine nature and of your light. It's about getting your spirit connected with God and I'm not talking about any God from any religion. I'm talking about what it's called the source, the source of life. When you are connected to the divine source and you are free from ego and you can love and you can feel compassion. And most importantly, you can fully love yourself. When your spirit is in that harmonic place, your body also gets connected to its true nature, which is being healthy and young. Let's start with the first steps you have to take, the ones which are more physical. You have to never put into your body anything which is dead because death will just bring death into you. The abuse animals are suffering, it represents the success of the dark forces on planet Earth. Taking advantage of the most vulnerable. And in some ways that it's the same thing that the elites of this planet are doing with humans. And that perpetuated abuse is lowering the vibration of the entire planet. That's one of the reasons planet Earth has a really low vibration. A really dense energy which affects human emotions and well-being. Violence against animals, it's something which happens every day, filling planet Earth with fear and sadness. And that directly affects all living life on Earth, including humans. Simply the vibration of Earth, the general vibration of Earth, can already aid you. Because the dead force is filling Earth now. And humans are treated also as simple meat sometimes by the elites which see them as just something to feed off, as humans see animals as something to just feed off. But that doesn't mean you have to get affected by all those energies, because you have your divine nature on your side. That nature that many things around you are trying to make you forget about. You just have to make an effort to tap into those energies of love and light, which are always around you. Those energies are always supporting you. And they want you to know that if you are listening to this message. If you are feeling attracted to knowledge and to light, that means you strongly have it inside of you. You have to make an effort to turn into a vegan diet, but please don't force yourself because humans have been eating meat for so long and that is somehow imprinted on you from your past generations. So most of the times it's not safe to become vegan overnight. You have to progressively accustom your body to a different kind of nourishment. I will talk about that 
in another message. Never go on a diet or do anything in life going against yourself, thinking that you are bad, thinking that you are not okay and that you have to change. It's good to make changes but always from a place of love. Always remembering that you deserve better, that you deserve better health, that you deserve better nourishment. The key is to try to find pleasure and to enjoy eating things which are good for you, to feel how good and healthy you feel after changing your diet. It's not about going against yourself or about torturing yourself if you are not ready for it. Also remember it to not turn it into an ego fight or into something which makes you fight with another humans. Because on earth the energies of fight and separation and power games are so present that even something positive as a vegan diet it's becoming sometimes a fight between humans and something to identify yourself with and to judge others and yes maybe there is some of the higher chakras that you cannot access if you have the dense energy of meat on you but there is people who eat meat and they have their heart chakra hugely developed just because they are not aware of what they are actually consuming let's go to the second step the second step is fasting you have to fast at least once a week with juice with water if you are able to Again, remember to not go against yourself. Start educating yourself about how to fast and slowly learn how to fast for longer periods. Again, don't do this overnight, just accustom your body little by little. You can also boost your health by taking nutrients which comes from the sea water is one of the physical things on earth which are closest to source energy to god's energy to say it in some way that's one of the reasons it's present in many religious rituals and that's one of the reasons why the human body have a high content of water it's directly related to life and the sea water contains almost a perfect mixture of nutrients to repair DNA. You can consume many different kinds of seaweed like spirulina, chlorella and many others which are available nowadays in a supplement form or in its natural form. You could also even drink seawater. Of course, once has been purified in its purified form, free from all the toxic things which are on the sea nowadays. But if you find seawater and drink it in moderate amounts, that can really energetically heal your body. And especially if you aren't starseed, you will see that you may feel very connected with dolphins as they have a similar vibration from where you originally come from. Another thing you have to do is to get in contact with water at least twice a day if it's possible by taking a bath. That will clean your energetic field. To increase the life force of your body you can also consume things which are coming from high mountains, especially the Himalayan mountains, as for a very long time very high frequencies have been concentrated there. On another message I will talk about why certain places on earth have a bigger concentration of higher energies and why this move to different locations on earth in different times of human evolution 
and that's one of the reasons why the ancient cultures surrounding what you call the Himalayan mountains knew about many secrets of life extension and found specific substances which activates that on your body. Places on earth which have a high presence of the source energy are the places which also naturally create substances which are helpful for your body and spirit. The high frequency of mountains, the high frequency of water will create also the substances, the material substances which can help your body which can help your body also achieve a higher frequency. As I told you in other messages, all the physical things that you see are a manifestation of a frequency and of an energy. With the energy that you are currently experiencing on Earth and the way that you are raised when you are a child, it's important that you practice any kind of technique which helps you release trauma and heal your energy. There is plenty of techniques and systems which were actually designed by those who knew about life extension and about the reality of human nature. These techniques were known in many locations all over the world before. But for reasons which I will explain in another message and which have to do with the balance between darkness and light on Earth, just the eastern part of Earth could maintain some of this knowledge. Even massage therapy is important for you to release all the stored emotions that you have inside and all the heavy energies that you are exposed to on a daily basis. I feel sorry that it seems that you have to make many efforts to deal with these dense energies that are currently on earth, especially the ones of you who are starseeds and who feel like this energy of earth is foreign to you. I promise you that the future on earth will be very different and that once you get used to all those routines, it won't feel like something heavy to do or like something hard to do. And also remember that you are receiving a huge amount of help. I know that for some of you it's so difficult to understand earth, but you also have immense love and help by your side. Meditation and prayer or something as simple as calling us for help as we speak through your consciousness will help you. Practice it every day to understand you are actually invincible and you can master your physical body as you want to. Those are some of the physical things that you can do to keep your body in its divine nature and form. On the next message, I will tell you about which attitudes, which behaviors and which interior things you should incorporate and achieve in order to rejuvenate. Because the energetic field of your mind and emotions is strongly and continuously sending electromagnetic impulses to every single cell of your body. It's similar than the electricity you use. The intensity of those impulses is so strong that it is the main influence which shapes your body and your health. It even goes beyond that and shapes your reality and the life you are having. That's why you see many people who is following all those techniques, 
all those steps I talked about, but yet they don't achieve rejuvenation. I forgot to mention, do not intoxicate yourself with alcohol or with any kind of substance which can alter your consciousness. I know some of those substances are used to connect with different dimensions, which indeed are here. But majority of people who are using these substances are not prepared to access these dimensions. And yes, it may get them out from the physical experience of life. But as they didn't prepare themselves in other ways to access these higher dimensions, that just creates a big imbalance which is more harmful than helpful. Not all those substances are harmful. But most of the times, they are not used in a proper way, as people who use it are not prepared, are not naturally prepared to access those dimensions. Like if you force a human baby to do something which he is not prepared to do till his adulthood. And right now, in this specific moment, Getting into those substances is not what humanity needs. And remember, you are not aware of all the dimensions you can access just with your mind and with the power of your own consciousness, which you naturally have. When you consume what you call psychedelic drugs, Unless you are already prepared to access a more etheric dimension, you are altering the energy of your chakras so much and creating extra work for you to regain control over the powerful energy of your body. What is indeed absolutely negative is alcohol. You cannot achieve any higher state either physically or spiritually, if you are consuming it. They made sure to sell you the idea of alcohol very nicely. And that's a good example to show you the power of your beliefs and of your mind, that you have all been convinced to drink something which naturally doesn't feel good because it's pure poison for you. You are not aware of the really negative entities that you are inviting around you when you consume alcohol. That's why the most sensitive of you will notice that when you go to one place where everybody is consuming alcohol, you feel extremely tired. You may notice you feel tired even if you are not consuming at all. That's because you are noticing the extremely low energies around. And that is also lowering the energy and the vibration of the entire planet. You can start following all these steps I told you about. And don't forget that you are as important as the entire planet. Just you, yourself alone, are as important as the entire universe. Please treat yourself as what you really are. And remember there is beings of love and light which are helping you every single day of your life. Every cell of your body vibrates with eternal light.